frantic fish running around and a whale. Yeah, There's a bubble cloud coming up. It's coming now you're going to see the whale's mouth come up. Oh. oh. Okay, we missed the mouth. Now, whether uh, that was an, uh, he fed successfully deeper down or whether the bubble cloud misfired and didn't quite corral some uh, fish. We're not sure exactly what goes on with a bubble cloud. We know what the bubble nets are. They, they sometimes spin a bubble net, a series of, uh, of like little tiny bubble clouds in a vertical columns around fish. But the bubble cloud that comes up below the fish, we're not sure what it does, whether it drives fish to the surface trying to get away from the bubbles, whether it uh, just so much sand lands to the surface. Yeah, even the birds are uh, triggering the these, like waves of sand. So a bubble cloud to the left now. Or uh, maybe the uh, the bubbles corral the fish, uh, stun the fish. Maybe they're trapped in the middle of it. Watch to the left now. Yeah, there it is. Again, another bubble cloud. Yeah, yeah that's the mouth. Whoa. Obviously, already having completed the feeding lunge, his lower jaw was pretty distended then, so he did get some fish. I cannot believe I'm watching this. In the okay, we'll get maybe one more look at the whale. We're going to have to be heading home here. Okay. Uh, we do have to think of getting back to Plymouth. Yeah, uh, we just stay out here and watch whales all day. Let's be a boat. Get that sand ball. Uh, closer to us at 10. Here it comes. Get ready. Look at the sand lands on the bubble cloud there. Watch this. Come right up. Watch, Watch Bray. Come on. No disappointment, please. Come up right here. Come here right here.